Remembering those lost in the tragic Silver Bridge collapse in Point Pleasant. It happened 55 years ago tonight, claiming 46 lives. 13 News reporter Lane Ball spoke with their loved ones tonight. He has the story. An event that left so many heartbroken. December 15th, 1967. 55 years ago, the Silver Bridge collapsed during rush hour traffic. The bridge, which crossed over the Ohio River, connecting Point Pleasant and Gallipolis, collapsed due to a small defect on a single eye bar in a suspension chain. Later, this led to important changes for the future of bridge construction, prompting the adoption of national bridge inspection standards in 1968. But for families all over the tri-state, they lost loved ones that tragic day. And Thursday, a crowd of people gathered to remember their names. Christy Ann Bowles. This tragedy has affected so many in this community, and I actually spoke with one woman who was the daughter of one of the 46 people who were named tonight, and she says it's still heartbreaking to this day. I lost my mom on the bridge. I was 23 years old. Roxy Stover says her mother, Nora Isabel Nybert, was driving across the bridge when it collapsed. She says after they heard the news, they immediately got in the car and drove to Point Pleasant. The drive down here that night was a absolutely eerie. The bridge went down on Friday, and we found my mom on Sunday. There were some that we never found. A tragedy many wish never happened. But in honor of those 46 names, this community is making sure it's never forgotten. I want to impress upon those beyond the years of myself to not to forget this. Reporting in Point Pleasant, I'm Lane Ball for 13 News.